everybody, and welcome to another brand new episode here on 1950s Farm. So what are we up to today? Today we are ploughing the uh, cornland for the dairy. And uh, what we're going to do, once we've got this one ploughed, we're then going to... I'm going to buy one of the small ploughs off uh, the dairy. So we'll go into uh, the uh, shop and we'll see what the game will give us for that plough second hand and whatever the game will give us for that plough second hand is what we'll pay the dairy for it um, that way it's a fair price then all round uh, but um, yeah so we'll we'll buy the uh, one of the small ones off the uh, dairy because uh, obviously it's um, it's very much needed for our farm and we haven't got a plough anyway and they are no longer gonna um, need the uh, plough uh, either because obviously they've uh, now got this big one on the back of this crawler and uh, they're not gonna need the, uh, the smaller one so we'll buy uh, one of the smaller ones off them and then the other one um, no doubt they'll just sell. Uh, I didn't get in the end enough time to do the grass in the uh, new grass fields that um, the dairy has purchased um, but with the grass that uh, we got off, or the hay I should say with the hay that we got off uh, our bigger field um, we've got more than enough hay now to see us through uh, you know to uh, through the winter uh, we've still got a little bit of silage left anyway um, but uh, as I say, we, we, we should have more than enough. We've kept some of the bales down at uh, our farm uh, just so that just so that um, we've got some not only for when we get our beef cows, but also as well it does leave the dairy a few spare uh, a few spare bales as well. So you know, all is good I think on the bale front. Uh, and then next spring. As soon as we are able to cut grass and we'll get a decent uh, crop off it, we'll get that cut and get that baled, and then we'll start to fill the shed for next year's hay. Um, the dairy's going to have obviously because they're going to breed this year, um, so next year the the dairy in theory is going to have. I think this is how the game works. It's going to have double because I think every cow gives birth. Uh, that's the correct. Uh, maturity to do so so um, next year the dairy is going to have as I say double the amount of cows so in theory that means we're going to need double the amount of um, hay and straw but uh, <clears throat> with two big old fields either side of us uh, at the moment uh, that will produce straw and then we've got our field as well that's also going to produce straw so yeah again the dairy should have more than enough straw to keep it going um, you know through next year and not only next year but through the winter as well i mean in 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 real life you know you would use a little bit less straw in the uh, summer because you would um you know try and have a system where the uh, cows could be out in the daytime uh, and then they would just come in for milking but on farming sim that's not really possible so unfortunately we have to uh, just have uh, the dairy cows in all the time um but it's not you know it's not too much of an issue so we'll be grand but yeah so we'll get this uh this corn uh stubble plowed and then uh, as i say i want to do i want to get our uh, what was our soybean field plowed and then um that will be pretty much as wintered up then really um i can't envisage other than um feeding the cows they're being too much in the way to do again this winter um as i've said before as, as, as we start to tick through the years uh, you know the more and more that uh, you know harry becomes busy because you know we've contracting so we've got like the corn uh, contracts that will run well into january uh you know soya beans that will run i think into january as well um so uh, and as Ari starts to do the uh, uh, the contracts obviously that increases his workload through the winter and then not only that obviously he takes on the cultivating the ploughing and 
and whatever else. And and it, it it's very quickly that uh, Harry starts to rise quite a, quite a bit above um, you know sort of his competitors in and around the area. And although probably even he would admit he doesn't get onto the same level as the dairy for quite a few years after that even, but he certainly established himself. And once he had established himself, he knew that, uh, you know, that he was going to be sort of okay um, in terms of the business, in terms of, you know, farming long term, because, I, I mean, I assume, but you know, it must have been a worry because there, there, there is everyone with all this money being pumped into farming, and then, as I've said, uh, you know, in a previous video, that what happened was was that because of the amount of money that uh, Harry Truman had been putting into, uh, or Harry S. Truman, I should say, uh, that had been putting into not only farming but you know, steel, everything. You know, eventually by the mid mid to late 50s, the market was absolutely, you know, full to the brim of food, steel, metal, you know, whatever it was, you know, it was, there was basically no market for it because there was just that much, uh, you know, being produced that um, you just couldn't shift it on. Um, so Harry needed and knew he needed to make sure that when that came that he was going to be able to ride that out and of course contracting was a great way of riding that out because you're obviously farming you're farming at you know an intensive level but you don't have surplus crops to try and get rid of at the end of it you know you just take your money and it becomes the farm that you work for's problem um, and, and so, you know, as I say, he realised that sort of quite early on that there was going to come a point where the, the the good times that they were going through were going to come to an end for a little while. And it would, you know, it wouldn't be until the mid 60s before farming started to uh, level out and again started to, to make money, you know, but... Uh, yeah, so that's all coming up. Um, as I say, as the as the years tick by, the the busier and, and the more there is going to be to do. Um, but uh, at the moment, as I say, this winter, I don't think there's going to be a great deal to do. So what I might do is I'll, I'll have the cows to feed over the winter, but I'm not going to do you know four videos of me feeding cows. Um, so I'll probably feed them off camera. I'll skip through the winter and then, um, you know, the, the sort of next episode, whether it be after this one or maybe the next one, because I've got, I have got a few little jobs uh, that I'll, uh, you know, sort of need to do. But um, at some point we'll just skip through the winter and one ep the end of one episode will be winter and the next episode will be spring and we'll be, um, you know, spring planting and drilling and, and stuff like that. So, uh, but it, basically it's just to not only help the series along a little bit because you know we don't want to spend forever you know we've, we've got to get through it um but also because i just don't want to do as i say four or five videos of exactly the same thing it's, it's just you know no one's going to watch it you know so it's getting that balance right but uh, yeah so i'm uh, going to leave you with some lovely music we're going to get this ploughed and then we've bought we've bought uh, harry's uh ford n up here and then we'll take the plough back um we'll use the plough and and then what we'll do is is we'll um deduct the money from our account and uh pay the dairy for the for the plough and then we've got our own plough and then you know eventually Harry too because of contracting gets himself a crawler and a bigger plow uh, and uh, you know that, that that's uh, what the plan is and what we'll do so as I say I'm going to chug you over to some lovely music and I'll see you at the end of the video bye for now
and I'm back. Ploughing going incredibly well. Again, I have to apologise. I think at the beginning I missed, <laughs> didn't realise that uh, my screen capture had, uh, had obviously stopped recording again. So therefore there was a bit of a jump from where it ended to where I realised and began it again. So I do apologise uh, for that. Um, Anyone that's watched this channel from the beginning knows that from time to time my screen capture just decides to play silly buggers with me and just sort of flips in and out as it sort of wishes. Um, but I think I have now solved the problem again. Um, it seems to be a thing that when I'm running low on memory it just automatically cuts out. Uh, the only thing was was that this time I didn't get the memory. Normally it gives me a memory warning and says like you know you've got so and so left, and then it sort of gives me roughly how long of recording that is left before it's gonna you know basically shut out. But it didn't give me the warning, so I didn't know it had happened. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I apologise for the bit that's missing, but um, as I say, one day we'll get. Um, I am saving you know sort of as hard as I can for a new PC um, because all the sort of temporary solutions that or the solutions that I can come up with are not really working so but anyway that's for another video that's for a poor me video um, <laughs> so we've been plowing as you've seen and uh, we've got you know we got the cornfield done um, it was there that the uh, computer cut and then I noticed as well that when I drove uh, down the middle of this field, uh, I got to the end and uh, looked up and uh, realised that it had stopped um, recording. Now, as far as I can tell, you only missed me literally driving from one end of the field to the other. Um, so you sort of didn't really miss that much, um, luckily. But yeah, so as I say, we've got, we've got the cornfield done. We're... Mm, I don't know, a quarter of the way probably through this field. I don't know, I'm not very good at percentages, but probably about a quarter of the way. We're not really halfway um, through the field yet, but it's going very well. Um, although I do think the dairy has sold me a dud plough because it's sort of ploughing four feet away from where the actual end furrow is and it's missing some of the weeds, which is a bit of a problem because uh, I'm trying to plough them in. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make a job of it by the time spring comes, so I'm not too worried. Um, as I say, we'll, we'll make a job of it, and then we'll give it a spray. Um, the eagle-eyed among you may well have noticed as well that I have now gone round the headland of the um, wheat field and uh, sprayed that weird happening that happened where, you know, weeds came up around the headland but nowhere else, and then on the end of this left-hand side of the field... Um, the weeds decided to come through there as well but only in really big patches and not all the way across so I, I, lord knows what's happening there i don't know um like i say i haven't done anything to the map so it's, i don't think it's anything i've done but anyway i have sprayed it now um i kind of saved you that because a tank of spray was lasting roughly about half a breed and then I'd have to go back, fill it up, and then go back to the... You know, and uh, it, it took a long time. <laughs> I was going to record it, but it literally was... I'd sort of watched back what I'd recorded, and it was, as I say, it was virtually a, a, a video of me driving to and from the farm, uh, you know, just doing a small stretch and then having to drive back again. Uh, I can't wait until the uh, 2000s come along and we get bigger spray tanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna help <laughs> that's all I'm saying it's gonna help <laughs> but uh, yeah so I, I, in the end I decided not to sort of uh, put that video out uh, just as I say just because I thought it would be quite dull uh, me just driving to and from and filling up you know I think it's about 125 litres the sprayer holds um, and uh, yeah I just thought you know I I'm not sure too many people probably want to see this, to be fair. <laughs> uh, so we uh, did the spray and then we switched over to some ploughing. But I'd, I wish there had been enough time in the day to have done that grass. But that gr then the grass fields that the dairies bought, they're just too big for this machine. I would never have got it done. And what I would have been left with is cut grass that then would have died, 
that I couldn't have done anything with. Um, and, uh, and, and sort of come next spring when it starts to grow again, it would just be a mess. So I decided that the best thing to do was to leave it over winter. And as I say, we'll do a couple of cuts off it next year with hay. And then at the end of the year, the last cut of the year, because I want to try and get three cuts off it if I can. Um, at the end of the year, we will then try and do a bit of silage in. Because um, as I say, one of my viewers was very kind enough to uh, sort of point me in the direction of a, of a, uh, a chopper. Um, that <clears throat> I've had a look um, and something similar to that was released a couple of years later but um, it's near enough to what we had or that particular model was released a couple of years later but it's not too far away from what was around in 1950 and 1951 going into 1952 there's not much discrepancy between the two it's just a couple of years later obviously they improved the design and they improved uh, one or two other little things on it and that's basically all that's different and uh, this one is the sort of mark two if you like um rather than the mark one but um yeah well, as i say we'll you know we'll we'll have a look at that because um it's not too far away from what would have been uh happening on uh, farms uh you know throughout the uh area and uh and the rest of America but yeah so as I say we'll get this field ploughed uh, by the time you come back for the next episode this field should be ploughed um, and then uh, as I say we've got one or two more little jobs to do and then we're gonna fast forward on to spring and get sort of the new year in and, and what have you because just because there's really not much happening <laughs> really <laughs> you know really isn't much happening on the farms at the moment but uh, yeah anyway i think this is where we'll end the uh, episode thanks ever so much for watching if you haven't done already please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and please 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 if you feel the need share wherever you want to share you know it's uh, i really don't mind and uh, it really does help so you know as i say you know share wherever you want to share um and uh, yeah, all that's left for me to say is thanks ever so much for joining me on this uh, episode. I've really enjoyed having your company and I hope to see you again in the next episode. Bye for now.